essential areas and their placement in the house. Jim, mm-hmm. wash the vegetables as I cut the meat. Okay, ma'am. Wow, our kitchen is so neat. I wonder how you manage to maintain it. The secret lies in how I position everything. I do the same for all the other essential areas in the house. By essential areas, you mean the living room, dining, sanitation, store and bedrooms? That's right. In planning the house, I am very keen on which rooms should be where and why. I see. So, the kitchen and the dining room should be close together so that food cooked in the kitchen is served in the dining room with a lot of convenience. Glad you are getting my point. The toilet, on the other hand, should be far away from the kitchen for hygienic purposes. And the bedroom should be away from the living room so that noise from TV does not interfere with someone sleeping. Interesting. Very interesting. So, what should we consider good for our kitchen? The kitchen is where food is stored, prepared, and served. It should therefore have a direct link to the dining room, the food store, and the bedrooms without passing through the living room. Hmm. So that the visitors don't have a clue what we are cooking. Jeez, I knew you would say that. Anyway, kitchen area should be well planned to save time and energy used to prepare meals and wash the utensils. The windows should be large enough to allow plenty of air and light. All right. So you designed the plan for our kitchen all by yourself? Yes. This is an example of a one-wall kitchen plan. Mm. Everything including the refrigerator, the cooker, the sink, and the food cupboards are all arranged in a row as you can see. You can also notice that there is enough floor space to allow cabinets to open freely. Yeah, I can see that. When the kitchen equipment are arranged to cover two adjoining walls... Mm, Let me guess. That is a two-wall kitchen plan? Nope. It becomes the L-shaped kitchen plan. Mm. Remember, the walls are adjoining. Therefore, the arrangement assumes the shape of the letter L. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. But when they are arranged to cover three walls, they form a U-plan kitchen type. This is the most efficient plan type and provides enough storage space. But you're not using it anyway. Hey, I like my kitchen the way it is. Like I said before, planning is important for all the areas in the house. Take the living or sitting room for instance. We spend our time there relaxing and chatting with family and friends and watching television. Mm. It should therefore be accessible from the main door and should be spacious enough to accommodate all the furniture. Such as the sofa sets, the coffee table, our stool, the bookshelf and our TV cabinet. Nice! Next to the living room is the dining room. Some are designed to be part of the living room while others are a separate room close by. This is where family members gather to have their meals. And as I said before, it should be close to the kitchen. And spacious enough to accommodate furniture, like the dining table, chairs, and a cupboard for storing and serving utensils. Correct. Now, let's talk about your bedroom. Hmm. It is the place I love the most in the whole house. And why is that so? Because Mm -hmm. it gives me privacy so I can relax, read, and sleep without any disturbance. And that is why we have it located away from the living room and the kitchen. Uh, Are you comfortable with the space there? Very much. My bed, Mm -hmm. the wardrobe, my dressing table. The stool and drawers all fit in well. Good. And you should thank me for it. Thank you, mommy. Anyway, when we are done cooking, I am going to take a bath. It is getting hot in here. The bathroom or bath shelter and the toilet make up the sanitation area. 
they are located inside the houses with running water but without running water they should be separated from the main house to keep off the bad smell and flies like the ones in the village yeah anyway for the inbuilt bathrooms and toilets they should be accessible from both the living and the bedrooms but they should be away from the kitchen for hygienic purposes of course and uh, before you remind me which i know you're going to do i can show you what i have got from this discussion go ahead all right essential areas in the house include the kitchen the sitting room the dining room bedroom and bathrooms mm -hmm. the kitchen should be accessible from the dining room and the bedroom the toilet should be located far from the kitchen. There are three types of kitchen plants. One wall, mm -hmm. L plan, mm -hmm. and U plan kitchen types. That's right. Now go on and take a quick shower as I serve the food. Okay, ma'am. We will discuss ways of acquiring a house as we eat. All right.